greetings and thank you so much for stopping by spending a few minutes of your day with me to check out some developer raids yes we've got hog rider homicide or technically i guess it's oversight uh, anyway it's 1875 hog riders in this video starting out with a pretty standard basic town hall 11 getting taken down by 300 hog riders so we'll get into a little more specific viewer requests in just a moment but here is the donut base getting surrounded and yes it's one way to make sure that Galadon does not fail a hog rider raid yes to heck with heal spells who cares about infernos these hogs will just amass and absolutely crush this village as they go right in towards the center they're going after the defenses first of course so they go in towards the core take all of those defenses out and then they will move on to the outer layer once they've got the eagle artillery last to go down then they work on the last of the structures there goes the town hall and now they will spread out just in a few tightly knit packs of hogs they do like to stick together apparently working on the storages working on all the other mines collectors barracks around the outside and shortly the camps on the very outside of this village will be the last to go and in just about a minute these 300 hog riders making quick work of this town hall 11. now 300 troop raids kind of different kind of fun to watch but they're going to get old fast unless we throw in a twist and thanks to sam woodhouse he had a suggestion can you please see how many hog riders can be taken out by a giant bomb well that is exactly what we have done here I built this village myself, yes, the master plan. I've got one giant bomb top right corner right next to that air defense, which is the closest defensive building so I can amass the hog riders as I drag my fingers across the screen. I can't use any more fingers without having some problems on the developer build itself, but by the time they get there, there's the giant bomb, and there go 161 hog riders at the same time. But I wasn't done yet, figured I'd give it another try, start back a little bit further and just see if I can get more hogs deployed on the screen before they reach that giant bomb. So this time I'm going to try once again, starting from the very bottom left of the screen with the hog rider deployment as fast as I possibly can. And again, because of the way the developer build works, I can't drag too many fingers on the screen at once without messing things up. So with three fingers on the screen, dragging together, deploying as many hog riders as I can, I finally, as we approach the giant bomb, 217 hog riders go down all at the same time yes it's hog rider homicide that is hamburger on the battlefield and there it is right there so 217 was about as many as i could get to fall to the single giant bomb but i figured i would give it another try by stalling the hog riders this time on a defense that would not shoot the hog riders down so this time the hog riders are stalling on the air defenses those four air defenses they will stop take those out individually and by the time they've gotten through the fourth air defense i've got all 300 hog riders deployed and here it comes double giant bomb and just about every single hog rider goes down at once just a couple survive that giant blast and i believe that was 297 hog riders dying to one blast of the old dgb so let's try it one more time this time i spread out a few extra giant bombs and thought maybe i can get all 300 at the same time so i've got this very artistic setup right here again with the air defenses to stall out the hog riders to slow them as i deploy as quickly as possible with three fingers dragging the fingers in trying to get every single hog rider down 150 to go 100 to go going through the third air defense down to the last 50 hog riders the last air defense goes down all 300 hog riders are there and here come the giant bombs this time five of them and that's it 300 hog riders all down at the same time that is massive hog rider extinction right there so i kind of see this as a little bit of revenge for all the times hog riders have let me down on the battlefield sending a few hundred off to that elixir graveyard in the sky and keeping on with the theme of impossible raids we've got an impossible village here once again a town hall 11 goblin style village set up in the center of all these beautiful trees and once again 300 hog riders converging on the center of this village but with so few structures they really group up extremely tightly really fast right here now all 300 are down and most of them on that town hall at the same moment and making quick work of this village there is the third star 300 hog riders and not a single spell needed but wait spells yes we could use some spells how about i don't know 400 or so spells so we've got a town hall nine 
I don't want to leave the Town Hall 9 guys out because I know that is a very popular Hog Rider place. So let's start with heal spells, right? That's what you guys need with Hog Rider raids is heal spells. So we'll go ahead and cover the battlefield oh, completely with heal spells. This way, I don't have any problem with pathing. We have got heal spells for days right here. And okay, so they're kind of expiring. But let's go ahead and try some rage spells. Maybe a few dozen rage spells as well. And now I'm just starting to get mesmerized by the colors. So I've let the heal spells expire. I'm letting the rage spells expire. So maybe... These hog riders need some other sort of help to get them through this village uh, besides heal or rage. So maybe haste? Haste might work. We'll get them through the village a little more quickly. Haste uh, looks kind of cool as well, but they don't last very long and uh, really not doing a whole lot to help out the hogs. So freeze. We will freeze the village so there can't be any damage done to the hog riders. And well, that's not going to stop the bombs. And look how fast the freezes are expiring. They are expiring faster than I can deploy them. So maybe freezes, maybe not the best thing, although they are kind of cool as I go for the full spiral here down to the center, covering the town hall finally with the freeze spells. That's the coldest attack ever. Okay, maybe not freeze spells. So let's try something else. How about earthquakes? Yes, we'll soften everything up. Not just the walls, of course, but the structures softening up with a few dozen earthquake spells again in the spiral formation and that definitely taking some hit points out of this defensive village setup. No way it's going to stop me, but that didn't do that much damage. So it's time for lightning. Yes, let's go ahead and drop a few dozen lightning spells all over the place, man, if we could only do this in an actual battle. Uh, but again, no real players being damaged here, just me attacking myself. And uh, that means I win and lose, technically. But all right, so it's time for the Hog Riders. Not a whole lot left. We had already damaged two-thirds of the village, destroyed two-thirds of the village before we dropped a single Hog Rider. So it's a race just to try to get 300 Hog Riders down before they get the third star. There we go, 85%. Got 50 more to deploy. Just a few more going down. And finally, as the last rusher goes down, the 300th Hog Rider goes down and another perfect three-star raid using hog riders. So again, let me know what you guys think about these developer raids. It seems like most of you guys want to see more. I know a big suggestion was Lava Hounds. That's coming up next. Thank you guys again, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like for Daily Clash content. And of course, I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more 300 Troop and regular full attacks. I'm glad you finally found a way not to fail with hog riders.